Hello Hoffers and welcome to the last day of Wim Hof Fundamentals Week 2, Reducing Stress. There is a really valuable piece of information I was reminded of this week. And I think there's certain skills in life that are really important in attaining. And what you want to do is diversify yourself in skills that are transferable to all the different areas of life. So things like becoming more self-aware, things like being physically healthy, things like your brain working optimally, and things like reducing stress are all things that if you're a professional athlete are going to be valuable. If you're a musician, they're going to make you a better performer. If you're a parent, they're going to make you a more self-aware, caring, and conscious parent. So they're making you a better human being. And skills that do that are the things you want to really load up on. So we're using cold this week as a training ground for becoming better at dealing with stress. As you can see, I have my bowl of ice here since I know you guys, you guys are thinking that fire's making everything warm and toasty. But no, there's a lot of ice in here and it's gonna be cold. Um, so, just dealing with the physical by immersing my hands in here. I am training my extremities to adapt to the cold, but I'm also training my core and its ability to send heat to different areas of my body. So I've been running outside and the very first thing that gets cold is always my hands. And for a pretty simple reason, your hands, your toes are the things that are the furthest away from your core. And all your core cares about is keeping your internal temperature to 98 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. So it pretty much says screw you to the rest of the body. I just got to keep this guy alive. And what we're trying to do is slowly reteach that, slowly retrain that. And one of the ways of doing it is by gradual cold exposure. So when you enter the cold, you'll realize when you come out that your blood is flush, so your skin is all red, and that's because blood is rushing to the surface of your skin. And not so much with the hands, but when you're entering a cold shower or entering the cold in general, you have this tendency to, <gasps> to gasp. And when you're in stressful situations, whether that's being in the cold or that's having some type of like awkward conversation with someone, just the next time you kind of catch yourself in one of these stressful situations, I want you to take a look at your breath. So you're going to realize likely that you're breathing shallowly. Shallowly. Breathing shallow. And one of the ways of preparing for stress, for preparing for the cold, is by breathing deeply. Just kind of setting the tone for what you plan on doing when you enter that cold. So just breathing in. Breathing out slow. Um, and continually doing that as you enter the cold. So the extremities are important. The neck, that's another thing which I experienced. Your neck is attached to your spine and this is your nervous system. And it can very easily be shocked when you're not used to coming into these cold temperatures. So there's an awesome exercise which they show you. It's very common for yoga. And it's just your normal neck rotation. And I will actually sit and I'll do this for a good like 5 to 10 minutes. And the reason is I have a kink in my neck right now. And when you get to a certain area, which for me is about right there, 
You just want to breathe into that spot. And this is to reduce stress on your neck, which when using cold can definitely happen. That's why this is almost like a training ground for you. And you want to create different simulations of the hard tasks that will inevitably come in your life. If you are anyone who's trying to advance or do anything, you're going to experience stress. So being prepared for it, you know, that is going to make the difference. Next week will be energy management, which I am super excited about since energy is the thing I'm always after. So I'm interested in seeing what that looks like. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications.